All right, folks, we are here to put a long running conspiracy theory finally to rest. Oh, yeah. Finally got him here. We have proof. <laughs> Paul McCartney <laughs> is alive. Yeah, well, he's not the real iconic Beatles singer, but he looks and sounds yeah. just like Sir Paul McCartney. And Paul McCartney is alive. Yeah, I went into the newsroom when you first came in. I was like, yeah. <laughs> it's Paul. He's here. But uh, meet Tucson native Tony Kishman. His claim to fame came more than 30 years ago when he started impersonating Sir Paul McCartney. How did you get started doing this? Oh, the question. Well, I, I started in the biggest Beatles show in the whole wide world, Beatlemania, uh -huh. opened on Broadway. And I didn't, I heard about it and they, they were looking for someone to play Paul McCartney. And I said, well, I, why call me? Because I don't know anything about that. Mm -hmm. But they said, no, you got to come down and audition. So I, I went and auditioned and after a couple of auditions, I got the job. Yeah, so. and you know, I mean, you really do look like, I haven't <laughs> met Sir Paul in person, but I'm telling you, it's, it's striking. Did that kind of bring it along? And have you ever been mistaken? Like people come up because he does have property here in the yeah. Tucson area. Well, people will come up to me at the airports because I'm somewhere every weekend, yeah. you know, and uh, they'll say, uh, are you him? <laughs> they, they don't even have to say Paul. They just say, are you him? And I say, no, I'm not him, but I play him in a show, yeah. you know, the Live and Let Die show. So, yeah, they, they always say that. And uh, I'll be ordering something at a, at a place and they'll, they'll start getting nervous. And I'll say, oh, no, <laughs> don't I'm not worry. him. I'm don't not worry. him. <laughs> so speaking of him, have yeah. you ever met him? And I has have that a, helped a few you? close calls, okay. a few close calls. Uh -huh. I, I, uh, real quick story, um, in London, went to see him perform and he invited me backstage because uh, he knew I was in the audience. Uh, this was years ago, and he and he said, uh, "Let tell that guy that plays me to come backstage." And I had already left. Oh wow! Uh, so that was my opportunity to meet Paul. So McCartney. he was it wasn't just a Beatle; he was also with Wings. Uh, yes, I was your, seeing is Wings. The Live and Let Die show co cover the spectrum. Yeah, audience? Live and Let Die covers Wings. I want you to Wings. answer in Paul. Well, what we do is we play Beatles songs, and then we do Wings as well in solo material. We do everything. So it's, let's it's hear a, a little bit right. of it. Why don't we do that? Well, uh, sound uh, good? Can I mention, I'm going to be back at the Fox September yes, 22nd, and tickets go on sale this all Halloween. Right. Wonderful. So Halloween Day. Live and Let days. Die tour or show? What it's we Live and Let Die. Live and Let Die. Uh, and by the way, the website is liveandletdieshow.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Cool. So again, um, if you'd like to see Mr. Paul McCartney, <laughs> a tribute <laughs> to him anyway, a little earlier than the Fox Theater show, you can check him out on November 3rd at 8 p.m. This is at the Orleans Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. Now, this is an awesome casino. It's actually for all the locals in Las Vegas. That's kind of yeah. where they go hang out. The venue there is fantastic. So let's go ahead and hear him play. Hit it, Sir Paul. Okay. The most famous song ever written. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Suddenly, I'm not half the man I used to be. There's a shadow hanging. Why is she 